everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we are talking all about holiday gift ideas i've compiled my favorite things that i have tried and own and can recommend to you guys from gifts under 50 dollars all the way up to gifts under 500 dollars. by the way if you're new here hi hello my name is Fraza, and if you're not new here hello and welcome back thank you for all of your support can you guys even believe that it is already december where has the time gone but it is also the time of year for holiday gift ideas and holiday gift gift giving and I'm really excited to share with you guys some of my personal favorites that I think would make really great gifts. So we're starting off strong with something that is really special. I actually just received this in the mail maybe a week ago and I have been loving it. So this is the brand. The brand is called Officen Universal Bully. This brand sells so many things from skincare to combs to lip products, anything that you can think of in terms of like personal care. But I was looking for the perfect gift for two people. One is for a secret Santa and one is for a champagne birthday. And I remembered wanting to go to this store in Paris, but we just didn't have the time. I really, really wanted a personalized lip balm from them and I'll show you what that looks like. I just wanna show you the packaging as well. It's just so, so beautiful. This is what the personalized lip balm looks like. You can see that I had my name embossed there in gold and essentially it is just a lip balm a clear lip balm and then you also have a mirror over here it's just a really nice gift that i feel like people won't really get for themselves but if they receive it as a gift like they would love it so you will see a trend in this video that i love anything personalized you can customize what the background of this could look like the ones that i got for a gift is a beautiful wine color with the gold embossing i thought that that was really pretty but for myself i just wanted something that was really classic, so I got the navy. I will show you guys what the packaging looks like because my secret Santa hasn't happened yet, so I do have it wrapped up. It comes in this like beautiful packaging and you can see that the brand's name is here and then there's also a little card. The next gift idea I have under $50 is another personalized item and it is a personalized journal. I feel like the end of the year is always kind of like planner season and journal season and people just getting new journals for the new year and I think that this is the perfect gift because it is something that you can customize with that person's initials or your initials. You can do either gold or silver and inside are just lined sheets of paper, just the perfect journal. And it also comes with a bookmark. This is only a $20 gift and for something that is personalized with that person's initials, I think it's just so special. The next gift idea I have is a planner. As I mentioned, it is planner season and I think everyone just needs a new planner for the new year. So this is the one that we have at the line. Again, like you can buy any planner that you want, but I just wanted to show you an example. This is our collab planner with Zoe Pritchard. It is the gentle productivity planner and inside you have daily pages as well as monthly pages so if you are a daily planner person or a monthly planner person this might be the planner for you it comes in this beautiful pink colorway we are sold out of the champagne color so we only have the pink left and this is only 38 dollars. so the perfect gift under 50 dollars. and then the last gift idea under 50 that i have are books and specifically non-fiction books so i've got a couple books here that are some of my favorite nonfiction books that I feel like do not get talked about enough. I personally love getting books as gifts because I think that there is so much knowledge in them and there is just so much to learn in books. And the ones that I wanna highlight with you guys today are some of my favorite nonfiction books. The first one is George Clayson's The Richest Man in Babylon. I think this one is a perfect gift for someone who is on their personal finance journey because this teaches you a lot about personal finances and just the basics and the foundation of personal finances. So this is the first book that I will recommend. The next book I wanna talk about is a book that I have read maybe three years ago. I haven't picked it up since, but I always just think about this book and I should probably reread it for 2024, but it is The Happiness Equation by Neil Pasricha. He did a talk at my workplace three years ago and I picked up this book because I really liked his talk. I would say gift this to someone who is kind of feeling stuck at their nine to five job and doesn't really know what to do. That's all I'll say about this one, but I highly recommend this. The next book is Brene Brown's Braving the Wilderness. I feel like everyone knows who Brene Brown is and she has so many popular books. And this one, I feel like goes under the radar. I read this book at a really tough time in my life back in 2017 when I was feeling unsure and uneasy about moving from Toronto to Vancouver. 
felt really lonely, wasn't really sure if what I did was the right move. An old manager of mine actually recommended this book to me. I was kind of talking to her about my story and how I've been feeling after the move from Toronto to Vancouver. And she said, you should read this book. I'm going to lend it to you. And I devoured it in like a week or less than a week. It was so relevant for me in that moment. So I would recommend this to someone who is feeling stuck and unsure of where they're at in life. I really think that this is an underrated Brene Brown book and I will recommend it to anyone who is feeling a little bit lost. And then the final book that I will recommend is Phil Knight's Shoe Dog. Phil Knight is the founder of Nike and this is a story of how he started it all and all of the difficulties that he has faced. I wasn't expecting much from this book but it ended up being my favorite read last year and I recommend this to anyone who is thinking about becoming an entrepreneur or just kind of want to know the story about Nike. This is a book that I love so so much and I wasn't really expecting much and I got so much out of it. As an entrepreneur myself I found this to resonate so well with me and my situation and there's just so much possibility and potential after reading this book because essentially Nike started from zero and look what it is today. So this is the last book that I will recommend. Okay, moving swiftly along to gifts under $100. So I have two gift ideas for you guys in this category. And the first one are beanies and specifically cashmere beanies because cashmere beanies are just a little bit more elevated than just your regular beanies. I have these two from Aritzia. I recently got them and I can't stop wearing them. They are so comfortable, so warm, so practical for this weather. And I got one in a very bright pink pop of color that I have been wearing so much as well as a neutral beige color. There's not much I can say about these other than they're so soft, so warm, and so practical. I think anyone would love to receive a cashmere beanie because it has that like luxurious touch. These are $60 each at Aritzia and I recommend them. And then the second thing in this category is another personalized item, but this time it is a passport holder. Passport holders are one of those things that are so practical and probably someone wouldn't get it for themselves but it is the perfect gift idea especially because you can actually customize the inside with that person's initials so again this is from my brand the line but you can buy passport holders anywhere the price of this specific one is 75 dollars with free monogramming so you can add their initials here and you have six card slots and then also a slot here as well as here to put a passport you can actually put two passports in here if you wanted to. You can slip one inside of this one and inside of this pocket as well. I think this is the perfect gift idea for someone who loves to travel or travels often. It is made out of this beautiful Safiano leather, so it is very durable, doesn't scratch easily, and it does have that luxurious touch and feel to it. Next category is under $250. I have a couple things in here that I'm excited to share. So. The first one is something that I will not shut up about. This is the Kindle Paperwhite. This is 159 Canadian dollars. I think that that is so worth it for a Kindle. I bought this on Amazon during one of their sales, probably just close to $100. I got it a little bit less than what it retails for because of that sale. And they do have sales often, so I would check Amazon. This Kindle Paperwhite has been such a game changer and I love this so much. I think it is worth every single penny. The next thing I want to talk about is actually something that I don't personally own, but I have tried on in store and have really considered it. It is the Majuri Bold Letter Necklace. I will put up a photo here for you guys. I think that again, in the theme of like personalization and making it really special for that person, getting them their initial in a necklace, I think is so cute. I have been toying with the idea of getting a letter necklace myself and that has been one of the contenders. It is $198, so just under $200 Canadian, and I think it makes a really, really great special gift for someone who loves jewelry. The next gift idea I have for you guys is a fragrance. I love giving fragrances. This is a gift that I always get my mom every time it's her birthday or it's the holidays, and I can recommend two fragrances that I personally love and that I use every single day. The first one is the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. This is my go-to scent. I have repurchased this bottle 
I want to say three times already. I love that one. And the most recent scent that I picked up is from Diptyque. This is their Le Papier. I've talked about this one before. This one is the 50 ml and it is $170. So it's quite pricey, but I think it is a really special bottle and it smells so amazing. So I highly recommend this one as well. Next thing in this category is an Aritzia Super Puff. I have not picked up a Super Puff in the previous years, but this year I finally got myself a Super Puff. I talked about that in my Black Friday wish list that I will link over here. I ended up getting the long version just because that is something that I need in my closet, but I will recommend the Super Puff Regular and the Super Puff Shorty. So the regular is $250 and the Shorty is $235. I think that this makes a really great gift. I was blown away by the quality of it and how warm it is. I have been loving my long version. I would recommend getting this gift in like a fun pop of color because likely that person that you're gifting to already has like a black puffer jacket. So I think it could be fun to get them a super puff in a pop of color. I personally really like the dragon fruit pink version that I have been eyeing personally, which I can't buy right now, but I really like that one. And to round out this gift guide, I want to recommend a tech item. It is the AirPods Pro in the third version. I believe that these are new for this year. These are noise canceling AirPods, which I was not convinced about before because I wasn't sure how noise canceling they would be. And I put them to the test since I received them and they are actually so good for the price. These are around 240 Canadian dollars. I think that that is so worth it. And what I think will be so great for gifting is that you can actually personalize your AirPods. Right now I have a case on them and they actually didn't get mine personalized, but that is an option if you purchase this on Apple's website. And I think that that is such a sweet idea if you get them personalized. And to round out this gift guide, these are my picks for gifts under $500. So if you have a special person in your life that you want to gift to, these would be my picks. These are things that I use every single day and I love. And the first thing I want to talk about are small leather goods from Louis Vuitton. And the ones that I want to recommend to you are the Louis Vuitton six key ring holder and the Louis Vuitton key pouch. We will talk about the key pouch first. This is the first ever small leather goods that I got myself, I wanna say four or five years ago now. And I've been loving this piece. I think it is so versatile and you can honestly use it for absolutely anything. I have it in the monogram canvas and it also has this like key ring that you can attach keys to if you want or a keychain or anything that you want in here. And then once you open it, you just have this like open compartment. Right now I'm using it as my wallet. So you can see that I have some bills in there, some receipts and some cards and it fits so much. I'm gonna take it all out so you can see how much I fit in here. So all of these fit into that card holder. It is pretty spacious inside, so you can see. The pricing on these have gone up quite a bit since I purchased it. This is now $420, but I remember buying it for maybe like $300 four years ago, so kind of crazy. It's good that they don't lose value. They're also super practical, so I highly recommend this one if you are looking to gift someone a really special piece. The other small leather good I have from Louis Vuitton is the six key ring holder. If you ask me which of the two would I rather get if I can only get one? I actually don't know if I can answer that because I love both of them. But if you are someone who always loses your keys or if you have a really delicate handbag that you wanna protect the interior, I would highly recommend getting this piece because it keeps all of your keys kind of tucked away and it's a pretty substantial piece that you won't ever lose your keys. So it opens up like this and you can see that it's got six rings. I have a really chunky fob with me here that I can't fit, like it won't close. So I always just pull it out. That works just fine for me. You can have your keys hanging here. I only have a house key, a bike key, and a mail key with me right now. It's such a practical piece, and I think the best part about this is you can actually get this personalized on the Louis Vuitton website as well. So similar to the other pieces that I showed you, you can actually get it monogrammed on the inside with your initials or that person's initials if you are gonna be gifting this piece. I have the six key ring. There is also a four key ring, and this one is still a really good price. I think that if I lost this, knock on wood, but if I lost this, I would repurchase it the next day. It is currently retailing for $395. So I think it makes a really, really great gift for someone special in your life. 
And while we're on the topic of small leather goods, I do want to mention that they also have a card holder. It's just a very basic card holder, but that is a really good price as well. It is $330. And I think that if you are looking for your first Louis Vuitton piece or something to gift to someone special, I would go with the card holder as well. And my final gift idea for you guys is my favorite gift that I've ever received personally. I received this gift from my partner two or three years ago. I didn't even ask for this gift when he gave it to me. I kind of feel like he read my mind or something because once I unwrapped it, I was like, how did you know that this is exactly what I wanted, but I didn't know that I wanted it. So the gift that I'm talking about comes in this beautiful leather case. And if you're familiar, then you would know that it is a Dyson. I'm talking about the Dyson hair dryer. I have mine in this like very fun pink color. I use this every single day. It just makes like drying your hair feel so luxurious. It has just made drying my hair less of a chore. That's what I used to think when I was drying my hair. I'm like, oh, I can't believe I'm spending like 10 or 15 minutes drying my hair. Like I wish it was just dry already. Every time I have to blow dry my hair, I get really annoyed. But with this, I look forward to drying my hair. I think this makes an excellent gift. This is very pricey. And that's kind of the reason why I didn't get this for myself. I was like, no, I'll just continue to use my $20 one and to have it gifted to me was so special. So I would recommend this as a gift idea 100%. It is so worth it. So that is it. Those are all of my gift ideas that I personally love in my closet. I use every single day. I hope you found something in this gift guide that will inspire you to get something for your special someone. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.